हेलो आई एम श्वेता आई एम फैशन डिजाइनर एंड पैटर्न मेकिंग कोच वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिलुइट सूत्रा एट सिलुइट सूत्रा वी डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट फैशन फैशन स्टाइलिंग एंड फैशन पैटर्न मेकिंग टुडे एट द सेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ सिलुइट सूत्रा आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंसर्टिंग मेजरमेंट्स फ्रॉम सिमली मी टू सिमली टू डी सो विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड you can see on your screen this is active simply to the window where i have made kind of a pattern for demonstration purpose so as you can see on your screen this i symbol if i click off all the point name will disappear sometimes it is easier to work without them again you can switch them on with the same i tool okay so now we are moving to uh, seamly 2d where we will insert the measurement to go to seamly 2d i can go on this measurement tap on menu bar and click on open seamly me or from keyboard i can press command m or control m from window as you can see again this is not an active window to activate the window i have to click on the plus icon it will ask for measurement type which is individual measurement i am inserting i am selecting the unit as centimeter and i'll click on okay now there are multiple options here uh, so in seamly me there are multiple measurement name which are stored which we use commonly for making patterns if you want to add something which is not there in seamly me you can add custom measurements also so first i'll go with add known and i'll click on add known window here you can see different measurement name now if i click on height so you can see all these measurements so it is showing in the diagram which measurement is this like a1 is height so height is from top of the head to your bottom till your bottom so you can see from diagram also what does it mean by height neck back etc suppose i am making a maxi dress so i need the measurement from shoulder tip to bottom which is 17 or yeah 17 so i can select 17 from here if i am making a bottom like pant or something high waisted pant then i need this measurement which is from this waist to this is mid rise this is low rise so 12 is low rise 13 is mid rise and 5 is high rise so i need five then it is asking for direct width like width of our shoulder you can see from this tip to this tip we need this measurement so i'll click on this then the third one is indentation indentations are different like curve of our neck curve of our back etc we don't need this just you can see what it is see this i don't need these so i'll not select this i'll close this then hand measurement if you are making gloves or something foot measurements also i do not need head i don't want then i'll need circumferences yeah i need hip circumference i need butt circumference you can see in the diagram bust hip maybe i need waist also so it, i'll click on 7 and i'll close this so whatever is required i can select from this drop down list right now i'll go with these measurements only and then i'll click on okay so all these measurement will appear here by clicking this window you can read all the names properly now you can insert your measurements here like my height is suppose 48 for my maxi dress i can click enter 
so now 48 has come right suppose it is 42 these measurements are not correct i am just entering it for demonstration purpose height west side maybe it is 40 so with this way you can enter width of the shoulder it will be 15 hip circumference maybe it is 42 okay bust circumference actually 38 waist circumference 32 i have saved all these measurements save then it is asking for name i'll select the name test okay and i'll save So now those measurements are saved. We have saved those measurements in Seemly B. So we need to import all those measurements into Seemly 2D. So I will select load individuals and it will give the name. We have selected test. So I will select that and open. So now my measurements are here in Seemly 2d so i'll make another pattern with the help of those measurement for that i'll click on this tool new draft block which will open another draft block in the same window i'll click on ok so now another draft block has started so i'll click on point tool and suppose i want a shoulder width half of the shoulder for my pattern so I'll click here now earlier we were entering the measurement from here now what I can do I can click on FX and it is showing all the measurements here which we have uploaded so what I want height neck height width hip circle waist circle width shoulder so I need this measurement, I will double click this, but I need, we need to delete this measurement manually. And I want half of shoulder, so I will divide it by 2 and I will click OK. And I will click OK again. So you can see. This is 7.5 width it has appeared. So that's how you can work with the measurement in Seemly Me. Click here. Again I will click on FX and I can select line length. So now it is showing all the lines in my patterns. So I want a line equal to A to A2. So I can drop down here and I will select this line. But before entering any formula, we need to delete the manual measurement which we have selected. And I will click on OK. It is asking for angle. I want, I can change the angle also from this. So I want the same angle like A2, A2. So I can select from the drop down list A2 A2 this angle line we want and I will click on OK and OK so it was the same same as this so that's how you can use formula also now if I want to uh, insert measurement again from my seemly me measurements suppose I have waist measurements so I want one fourth of waist. I'll simply click here. I'll click anywhere else and for length, I'll click on FX and I can select waist circumference from here. I'll double click it. I'll delete the earlier measurement. I want one fourth of that. So I'll divide it by four and click OK. That measurement will come here. I want angle 360 degree. 
and I'll click OK. So it has come. It, now, if you want to change the measurement, you can insert another measurement and uh, you can your pattern will change. We'll discuss this in detail when we make actual pattern. So that's it for now. I hope you understood how to insert measurements, basic measurements. I'll see you in the next video where we will make a simple basic bodies block. Music